Day number 11, what? It's November 11, 2017, and we are doing the thankful challenge. 23 days of thankfulness all the way through to Thanksgiving. So I am your girl, Talisa Ray, and you know I wanna know what you're thankful for. You know <laughs> your girl wants to know what you're thankful for. I keep switching my hand because my arm is hurting. I should really be using like my tripod since I'm at home, but I'm not. Mm, I'm not, I'm, I'm using my arm because it's gonna be quick. So anyway. What are you thankful for? Let me know down below in the comments what you're thankful for. And if you just happen to be shy or you're not a big sharer, just do me a favor. Click the thumbs up button. Click, 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 thumbs up. And let me know that you've thought about what you're thankful for, that you've acknowledged it, and you've spoken it out loud so you too can have a spirit of gratitude. And I'm going to just tell you the truth. I, I, I'm feeling good about this challenge. I'm feeling good that... We're talking out loud about, about what we're thankful for because it is giving us a spirit of gratitude. And when I say thankful, just so that we're clear, I'm not talking about the superficial, materialistic things that we have. I'm not talking about things that are attached to uh, finances. I mean, even though things like having a roof over our head, those that that's a big thing because some people could be homeless in a matter of a blink of an eye, having your job, that's something to be thankful for. But when I say materialistic, I'm talking about when you get to say shit like, oh, you know, I'm grateful that I make X, Y, and Z money, or I'm grateful for the red bottoms that I bought. I'm talking about things that are edifying to your soul, to your spirit, that are uplifting, that are, are encouraging. Like I'm talking about that kind of stuff when you're thankful. But y'all know that already. Just in case somebody new came in and they weren't clear about what I was talking about, I wanted to make it be known. <laughs> I'm talking about those things that are edifying to your soul. What are you thankful for today? So yeah, hmm. Talisa Bray, girl, what are you thankful for today? So this morning, you know, um, um, I do have a really... I have a great relationship with God. Each of us have our own relationship with God. I got saved back in 2000, like for real, under the water, come out speaking in tongues, speaking in your heavenly language, talking to God, like where my relationship with God was deep. You know what I'm saying? Like deep, like I was in my concordance and I was studying. I was really just living for the Lord. I was celibate. I wasn't cursing. I mean, it was feeling real good. Well, back a couple months now, it's been a few months now, um, I'm recommitting myself, right? So, I mean, I'm not ever going to be perfect, ever. I still curse quite a bit. I mean, I've always had a relationship. I've always read my word. I've always talked to God. There has been a stint that I haven't. But nevertheless, <laughs> I'm saying all this to gear up to why I'm thankful. I'm thankful today because, you know, God could easily turn his back on you, take his spirit from you, and you not have any connection with him. And you're wondering, why, Lord? Why can't I feel you? Why aren't you near me? Why is it that you can't hear me? Lord, help me. Why aren't you talking to me? And y'all know God talks to us in very... Uh, very many fashions, not just, you know, when you hear him, you know, you hear that small, quiet voice, but through other people, he talks to you through uh, his word. He talks to you when you're reading his word. I'm hoping you're reading his word every day. I I'm trying to stay consistent with that. When you go and you're at church and you hear the word of God being uh, taught by the pastor, that's another way, a friend, a prop prophetess, some stranger on the street. There are a plethora of ways that God speaks to us, but I'm thankful for, I'm thankful for having a relationship with God. I'm grateful for him not taking his spirit away from me, him not turning his back on me, him being ever present in my life, like regardless of what people think or, or, or think they see or think they know, he's ever present in my life, ever present. And he's showing me right now in this season that I've never left you. I'll never leave you or forsake you. The only way I'm going to go away is if you move first. Like, if you go first, Talisa, I'm leaving. This morning, you know, every morning I've been waking up and I've been praying. Praying out loud, talking to God, just being grateful, thanking him. And I, I just want to say, like, it's a good feeling to be able to have a conversation with God and feel his Holy Spirit and know that he is acknowledging what you're saying while you're praying for other people, while you're giving him thanks. He's reverencing in it. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all, am, am I? Uh, do you get me or nah? Do I sound crazy? Maybe a little bit. 
but I'm thankful for his spirit. I'm thankful for having a praying spirit, like <laughs> an intercessory spirit. Like I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for having a renewed mind. Like, I mean, you know, you know, like Talisa, it's sure a whole lot of stuff you're thankful for today. I mean, I could go on and on about the things that I am thankful for, but I am most, most thankful for him not taking away his Holy Spirit from me. And that I do still have an ear to hear what thus said the Lord. So I'm grateful. Let me know what you are thankful for down below in the comments. You know your girl wants to know. Or that thumbs up because you're acknowledging that you too have a grateful spirit. And that you've been participating with us in this first 11 days of the 23, day, 23 days of thankfulness challenge. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Hugs and kisses and lots of love. I'll see you tomorrow.